This is the exact spot where my son Frank at 16 died in a drunk driving accident. Doing 79 miles an hour, he hit this tree. Frank Woolwine was 16 years old. Great athlete, a huge future in front of him. Frank was a great kid and he made a fatal mistake one night. He got intoxicated and he got in a car and he died. That night, I was uh, down in Debbie Dew, South Carolina. Myself, uh, the rest of the family, his brother, he had just started football practice and he was on the varsity football team and I decided to let him stay with my mother. In the morning on Friday, I took him to football practice. When he's like 20 yards away, I said, good luck in practice, we'll see you in a week. Make good decisions. I get a text that night around 9.30 that said, hey dad, can I spend the night at my friend's house. Instead of staying with the friend, they pulled the old switcheroo where the friend told his mother that he was staying at our house and it was okay with me. So I guess after practice, they decided to have a party here at the house. His friend ended up uh, passing out uh, downstairs. So Frank was upstairs and got a text from a girl that said, hey, um, why don't you come over? Two o'clock in the morning, I'm dead asleep my stepdaughter crying hysterically on the phone. She said, Roy, you got to get up. I think Frank's been in a car accident. A police officer comes on the, on the phone and says, um, the individual in the vehicle is deceased. Our lives changed like that with one simple phone call. For the rest of my life, I will remember that drive back to Richmond because my son laid down in the back seat and cried the entire way home. The crash site was less than a mile from the house. He was doing 79 miles an hour in a 35 mile zone, and his intoxication was 0.19. Please don't make the same mistake Frank made. You know, it's not worth it. It's not worth putting your family through. You have a great future. There's no reason for you to get behind a, a, a vehicle intoxicated. It's almost six years. And I can tell you now, I think about him all the time.